right, so one thing that I just realized a few days ago that I did not do a proper video for the Ryobi Brushless One Plus miter saw. Now, I did a lot of videos in the past, old videos, I might add, uh, but I didn't actually do a proper video of this and specs. I was a beginner back then. My videos are were crap compared to how I do it to them now. So we are going to test this out and see what this could really do and use different batteries to see what the performance is with different batteries. So the one thing that uh, is extremely disappointing is this is not HP friendly. It's a brushless motor, but the HP batteries do not assist this in any way. There are no HP, HP connections where the HP connection should be. Uh, I found that out after I bought this, which I, I'm majorly disappointed with that because this thing, you know, it's awesome for the DIY and the homeowner to have. Uh, I am not going to get the DeWalt uh, miter saw, uh, the battery one. This one, it perfectly fits my needs, but I do want to get the DeWalt uh, flexible table saw and get rid of the table saw. Uh, that I require a plug for because Ryobi does not make one so I, I'm gonna go with a different company that does make one I do so I am gonna get the DeWalt table saw it's like 500 bucks comes with two six amp hour flexible batteries so yes but uh, this one does do the trick now the blade that I have on here is a little old uh, we are it is majorly used so uh, we're just gonna t I am gonna see which I'm gonna see what new blades I got if I have any uh, I'm not going to get a new blade right now. We'll do more tests in the future because I do need to start working on the house. And once it starts getting warmer outside, which is coming soon, thank God I'm done with winter. So this is model number P3650. It's a 36 volt miter saw. You know, because you put two 18 volts on there, it equals out to a 36 uh, volt miter saw. The, this is a 10 inch miter saw. It is 4,000 RPMs. So it does not say the weight on here. I'll put the weight in right now. And so, yeah, this thing is awesome. It is uh, powerful, but I'm pretty sure that the other brands are more powerful than this is. But we are going to do a thorough test with this in this episode because I got to cut up some 4x4s for uh, test videos. I'm, I'm, I'm out of 4x4s. So we're going to use this to cut them up. But let's set the stand up really quick and, uh, and get to it. This is gonna be a real life uh, timing of the setup of, of the stand. No fast, no fast, uh, no speed, just regular time. And there you go. Then you just lock them down and done. Let's actually clean that. If this is dusty, let's clean that off really quick. I think I am going to put back on the Ryobi General Purpose uh, saw, uh, saw blade, the one that came with this. So how we're gonna change the blade out really quick. Just don't lose. Don't lose that. Then you are good. Remember, it's lefty tidy, righty loosey. That is loose. that off and take that off and that ought to do it done all right, so twist this, slides back and forth, pull that out, there we go.
Put the, make sure you put the Allen key back. Don't need that lost. Place anywhere special, so I'm using a marker. Uh, this is just being chopped up anyways in the videos. So we're gonna go every two feet. Right there, right there, right there, and perfect eight feet. So that's a problem. So what I did is I took the grinder, I melted this a little bit uh, for the catch for the dust to go through. So now this could slide like no problem. It was just a smidge uh, hitting the edge. I use HP batteries in here even though the HP system does not work with this. We're going to try out the 3 amp hour compact batteries first and we're going to see how well it, it performs. I wish that this system was was HP compatible because it would be a, such a better saw. Alright first we're going to cut it in half. Now uh, there is a laser. There is a laser, laser system and you could actually adjust the laser right here. There is a little there's a little part right here to where you could actually adjust it if it's a little off. But we're going to try this out. Let's let's see what it does. Uh, we are going to time this. All right, so ready? Go. Easily cuts a 4x4. Four four. Easily. Let's uh, put 6 amp hours in. Got 6 amp hours. The batteries are full. Sorry. Safety glasses. I'm sorry. I did a cut without safety glasses. Alright, so ready? Go. This miter, this miter saw is awesome. It really is awesome. All right, we got one more cut. Let's switch out the batteries. Now we're going to use 9 amp hour batteries. And see what the performance is. All right, so ready, go. This is cutting a 4x4, four four, all right? This thing is seriously, seriously awesome. And <coughs> I do need to get a Diablo blade. I want a 10-inch Diablo 80-tooth blade for this, which I'll be picking that up soon. This thing is seriously awesome. It does the job. It does it well. You know, and you can cut for a long time with, the, with these batteries. I only wish that this was an actual uh, HP system-friendly unit, which it is not. Ryobi needs to make one that is HP friendly. All right, so let's uh, cut a few more actually. Let's do a couple of slivers. So ready, go. So ready, go. Time. So we have two 1.5 amp hour batteries. One battery has three bars and the other one has four. We're only doing one cut, so it's okay. Very good right there. All right, so ready, go. Oh, my bad. You have to put that up. Yeah, it cut it. It cut it. It's capable of doing it. It is capable of doing it. All right, so this unit is awesome. It has a uh, it has a laser that you can adjust. You know, oh, one thing we haven't done yet. Of course, this saw is capable of going from 45 degrees all the way to the other 45 degrees. No, to 50 degrees. <coughs> and it also, all right, so this unit does go both directions. There you go, up to 45 degrees to the left and 45 degrees to the right. So I believe I paid $250 for this. It's capable of doing most jobs and I've seen reviews on this to where it actually
does uh, that which the professional contractors actually like the way that this is. They said in the video a four amp, a two four amp hour batteries last them a long time. And if you have two nine amp hours on there, it'll last you a long time as well. And uh and yeah, so this thing uh this thing's awesome now. The stand itself, the stand itself came with these two brackets. I paid a hundred bucks for the stand. And the stand is, you know, it, it is heavy. You know, it's not on wheels, which you could you could modify this to be on wheels if you really wanted to. Uh, but uh, but yeah, this total uh, for three hundred and sixty dollars for the stand and saw battery sold separately. Of course, it did not come with any batteries. So yeah, this thing uh, this thing is awesome. It is not an immediate stop. So I just haven't done a proper video on this in a, uh, ever since I got it. I was naive back when I first got this. Uh, this thing is awesome. I do not need the, to replace this with a different brand. This one serves my needs perfectly. But like I said, I do want to get the DeWalt uh, table saw with it uh, that comes with two uh, six eight hour flexible batteries. Then I have a, a cordless table saw and sliding miter saw. This thing rocks. I love this thing. And like I said, I will be working on the house extremely soon. Uh, so we will be using this a lot in future videos because I have to fix the deck. I have to uh, uh, continue working on the house. So plenty of videos coming up and versus videos. So please subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.